Uh, but drones are doing more than just delivering snacks. They could save lives. That's the goal of a new project called Health Integrated Rescue Operations. And so basically what they're doing is they're taking a drone, a larger drone, mm -hmm. and delivering emergency supplies and things like that. I, I don't want to uh, ruin the spoil here. So Italo uh, Subaru, uh, the developer of the project, is with us now. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Explain uh, what this is all about, because I think this is a really, really good idea. Uh, yeah, well, first of all, thank you for uh, having me on your show. Um, you know, I work at the medical school in Mississippi at William Carey University College of Osteopathic Medicine, and we had a bad tornado that came down to Hattiesburg in 2000 and, uh, about 2013 or so, and it, took, it did a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, and so when we were studying the event, uh, we saw a lot of great uh, communication via social media, as you're noting, Mm -hmm. And But what we thought about was it's great that people can communicate now in a more robust way, but we felt that, uh, you know, power lines are down, trees are down. Why not, uh, can't we do more with today's technology? So we thought of this idea of an ambulance drone essentially to be able to provide a critical bridge where we could essentially have a medical package and integrated telemedical package that could be deployed to a given uh, GPS address. Uh, and land there and be able to provide uh, critical life-saving interventions uh, uh, and, and potentially provide a critical bridge by the time first responders get there. So it, I was reading uh, up on this this morning. You gave the scenario, too, of an injured hiker. And talk about how that would work, especially the telemedical portion of it and how I, somebody who obviously is not versed in you know, helping themselves or the medical world, how they would be able to either help themselves or somebody that was with them that was severely hurt. Yes, uh, we really, we're really looking at this. I'm, a, I'm an osteopathic physician, emergency physician, and we look at things from a holistic perspective, and we're really trying to focus on empowering the patient. And so we're empowering the bystander in that critical chaotic moment. So we've designed these kits that when they open up, um, they're very sort of user-friendly, if you will. We actually have some visual technology. In this case, uh, Google Glass is what we're using. And we have them put those glasses on so we can see exactly what that bystander is seeing, and we can talk to them yeah. in that moment. Uh, if it's a wilderness type of emergency, uh, we can provide some critical needs right then and there. So as the kit opens, you actually see a physician uh, in the portal or another healthcare provider. And within the kit itself are a number of different medical interventions that we could use to, uh, again, provide critical life-saving interventions in the moment. Right. I mean, you can almost see, like, military applications mm -hmm. for this if they're in the middle of a firefight getting, you know, help to people or if there's a gas leak or somewhere or a flood where somebody's stuck on some island somewhere. So many uses for this. Yeah, we're, we're kind of, we're very excited about this. We feel we're just kind of at the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we're working with our partners. We're in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and we're working with our partners in the state uh, to be able to, to utilize this uh, within the confines of emergency management. And also, I think when we envision it really to be plugged into any existing 911 network. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? We look forward to uh, more to come with this, and we wish you the best as you continue to push this forward because it really is, I think, the wave of the future oh, in, interesting technology. in the medical world and, and technology. It. So many applications, too. Idolo, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Great idea. And thank maybe you so we can much. Check in later as we go forward.